क्वेश्चन नंबर 106 द मोलिबिडनम आयरन प्रोटीन इन द रूट नोड्यूल्स ऑफ लेग्युमिनस प्लांट्स सिंथेसाइजेस लेग हीमोग्लोबिन क्रिएट्स एनारोबिक कंडीशंस इन द नोड्यूल सेल्स कन्वर्ट्स अमोनिया इनटू अमाइड्स फोर्थ वन कैटालाइजेस द कन्वर्जन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इनटू अमोनिया व्हाट इज मोलिबिडनम आयरन प्रोटीन मोलिबिडनम आयरन प्रोटीन इन द रूट नोड्यूल्स ऑफ लेग्युमिनस प्लांट्स इज nitrogenase enzyme this nitrogenase enzyme is important for biological nitrogen fixation it catalyzes the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia so this is very important enzyme for the nitrogen fixation you can say biological nitrogen fixation now this enzyme synthesizes leg hemoglobin no because leg hemoglobin is synthesized by bacteria and plants together but not by the nitrogenase second one creates anaerobic conditions in the nodule cells no it does not create the anaerobic conditions but yes nitrogenase is sensitive to oxygen hence it can work in anaerobic conditions only third one it converts ammonia into amides no catalyzes conversion of nitrogen into ammonia yes so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and seven: The activator of the critical enzymes involved in carbon fixation during both C three and C four cycle of photosynthesis is the enzymes which are involved in the carbon fixation of C three and C four cycles is Rubisco and Pepcase respectively. For Rubisco and Pepcase, the activator is magnesium so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's see the next question question number 108 which of the following statements is are correct first nadh is produced during non cyclic photophosphorylation it is absolutely incorrect why because during non cyclic photophosphorylation it is nad pH which is synthesized not the nadh second one ph in thylakoid lumen increases due to photolysis of water towards the thylakoid lumen no when there is a photolysis of water protons and electrons are removed these protons accumulate in the thylakoid lumen which decrease the ph of the lumen not increase the ph of the lumen so this is incorrect third one the process of cyclic photophosphorylation involves a photosystem one only and in this cycle external source of electron is not required it is absolutely right that's why it is called cyclic photophosphorylation because the electron which is removed cycles back to the photosystem one so only third is correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and nine. If we take one molecule of alpha keto glutaric acid as respiratory substrate, then how many molecules of ATP will be formed after its complete oxidation? Alpha keto glutaric acid. It's a substrate. You can see here in the Krebs cycle. This is the alpha keto glutaric acid, which is five carbon acid. Now. after this one molecule of nadh2 is produced you can see here then one gtp one fadh2 and again one nadh2 you know one nadh2 gives you three atp so three atp this is single atp as it is substrate level phosphorylation One FADH2 gives you two ATP molecules. Again, three ATP. So you can total them: three, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ATP molecules after the complete oxidation of the alpha keto glutaric acid. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and ten. Consider the following diagram of a plant and select the statement which cannot be true for this plant. 
here you can see in this plant the leaves are merged in the water or you can see these leaves are completely dipped in the water now see the options leaves which are under water have less number of stomata to reduce transpiration no why because leaves which are under water they are not responsible for the transpiration second one this plant is showing plasticity of course this is a development adaptation which can be seen in this plant third in this plant heterophily is due to environment heterophily is presence of two different types of leaves here you can see one type of leaves are present in the air and the second type of leaves are present in the water so different types of leaves is due to different environment it is true buttercup is an example of such plants yes it is also true so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.